Good morning, my friends. Today, it's another cold, sunny day. Not a cloud in the sky. I definitely want to go out a little bit. I need to clean my apartment too. So today is going to be one of those days where, you know, I sort of take a break from working on music or art or anything and just sort of spend the whole day, just clean out everything in my apartment which I feel like I need to do today. It's a very important thing to have a clean house, clean mind, right? So um, it's starting to get uh, apparent with more of my uh, addiction to my cell phone. Even though I can access social media online and other kinds of things, that uh, urge to like look at my phone while in my bed when I wake up first thing in the morning is very strong. It's a lot stronger than I thought it would be. Um, and I'm not sure where it really stems from. It's not even the, the actual social media I want to see because I can just go on my computer and look at it. But it's like I, I want the phone more so than actually going on social media, which I find very interesting. So I have another suggestion today. And uh, by the way, if any of you have suggestions, just comment it. Um, you know, I'll probably get around to it at some point, and unless I have something else I want to talk to, or unless it's, you know, I try to keep every day sort of different in terms of topic. I don't like to talk about the same thing every day throughout the week. I like to sort of switch it up a little bit. Um, a lot of times I talk about politics, but I'm kind of getting bored of that. Um, you know, that same sort of dynamic. And as I learn more and more about politics, the more I realize that it's kind of a, it's kind of a waste of time to even have an opinion about it because it's sort of, it's just endless. Um, there's no objective truth about having a political opinion. It's just an opinion at the end of the day. Um, definitely much better to be uncertain and just sort of go with whatever's happening in my opinion. But we're talking about toxic relationships now. Um, quite personally, um, I have been in a few friendships and, uh, you know, just been with people that have, you know, toxic in some regard. And I think it's very difficult to um, uncover the toxic relationship because generally if you really meet people who are really toxic towards you, you'll generally just avoid them. Um, the toxic relationships that are really hard to get rid of are the ones that you think are perfectly fine or you generally are getting something out of it, but it's something, it's like it's a vice of some kind. They're providing you with some kind of uh, worldly pleasure or some sense of um, physical security, perhaps. Um, it's never going to be someone unless it's a family member and you're forced into um, that relationship. I'm fortunate to not really be involved in a toxic relationship with my family, which I'm very grateful for. But I have been in instances where I've been in a toxic relationship with friends, um, mostly just friends and people I know. And the reason why it happens is not because they're necessarily bad people, Although sometimes the I've uncovered things about these people that are, you know, that are just don't work with me or they're generally just toxic. They're very egotistical um, and it sort of manifests once you are sort of vulnerable to them or you depend on them in some way or another. Um, and it's sort of very well hidden in a lot of ways. But there's also the kind of toxic relationships that sort of spring up from people who are generally good, like nice people. Um, and it's just the relationship that's toxic. It's the dynamic that's toxic. And that's happened with some friends of mine. Um, generally, a lot of the times it might be a cynical way of thinking. We sort of feed off of our negativity and we're not each other bad people, but we just sort of relate to each other in a negative way. And that sort of uh, attracts each other. And I think that's one of the most interesting forms of a, a toxic relationship is that you don't even really realize 
it's toxic and it's hard to break out of it because you know you're both two people who genuinely enjoy each other's company you're not like bad people there's nothing you can say to say oh yeah this person's bad for me uh this person specifically is not good for me or anybody it's generally just like oh this relationship this dynamic we're having is toxic usually that happens in the form of uh, drugs a lot of the time and i've had this problem with some people where our relationship was solely dependent off of like smoking weed or something equivalent well that was really it it was smoking weed that was the main thing i did and was addicted to for a while and um you know, the friendship was still there. The friendship was always solid, but we delved into this um, friendship that was based only on smoking weed for a while. And it um, it's not to say that it hindered our friendship in any way, but it definitely hindered ourselves. And whenever we were hanging out with each other, it would definitely come about in a certain way where it's, um, you know, we sort of just like, sort of lure each other into this bad habit which um you know now we've sort of grown out of it and we can just sort of be friends without it which is very nice to have but i know there are other friendships of mine where it's like you have this substance abuse you have something like weed and the only thing you really relate with that person is that you both smoke weed i know that's very common with a lot of people and that's when you know that there's no real foundation built on it and that's the real toxic relationship in terms of a toxic person towards you um, there's relationships though that are toxic but it's not the person's fault it's you're both sort of feeding each other in a weird way you're both sort of um, the toxic person in a sense there's a part of you that's acting out on a toxic behavior and it's not just with drugs too it can be with um I think I'm, I was talking about this just earlier. I don't. I lost kind of my train of thought. But um, with a cynical attitude, I know this has happened with a few friends of mine where we just sort of talk a lot and we talk a lot of shit about people. We talk a lot about cynical aspects, you know, just sort of being very nihilistic and cynical and hateful and sort of very low and sarcastic. I mean, sort of feed each other in this way. And it's not to say that either of us are bad or cynical in any way. It's just that the relationship and how we derived our sense of communication and relating to each other was based off of the cynicism that we might have towards the world. Towards the world, And we give each other our feedback and experience, and it sort of feeds into our own perception. And I think that's uh, definitely something that happens a lot with certain friendships is that they kind of... Um, they encourage a toxic behavior even though the two people themselves aren't toxic by nature you know there's some people who are definitely you know toxic their their whole being is based around um let's say in this case being cynical or being a drug addict they're not uh, really delving into other aspects they don't really have much other aspirations and that's generally an easy toxic relationship to find but then there's other ones like the ones I've just been talking about, which can be very uh, debilitating and you don't really realize it because you still have um, a connection with someone that's not based on the negative attributes. It's based off of something hopefully uh, beneficial, something that's genuine, right? Um, overall, though, I tend to be pretty good and avoiding toxic relationships. <coughs> um, how I do that, I'm not really sure. I think I just kind of have a better sense of people and how they can benefit me. And, uh, you know, that's an aspect where you need to be selfish in that regard. You can't find relationships with people that aren't going to better your life, right? You can't be with someone who's going to make your life more miserable or boring and that involves cutting people out maybe um but you know the real thing is i think is um yeah just to be honest with yourself about who you're being who you're choosing your relationships with 
and to really be honest about who these people are, what their intentions are. And if your friendship or relationship is built off of something that's genuine or it's based off of um, a sort of this need to fulfill something, whether that's a drug addict or you feel like you need to be um, secure in a relationship, you need that physical comfort of being with someone because it's, uh, it is scary to be alone. And I think a lot of people genuinely go towards other people and to find relationships with the wrong kinds of people because they crave that relationship. Um, and I know I've been in that place before. I've craved a relationship. And I was lucky that I didn't end up with someone who was toxic and destroyed me. I ended up with people who just didn't really care about me, which is a lot better. I thought it was horrible at the time but it's definitely a lot better for me because it's um, not going to be manipulated by someone and uh, I know this is the case for some other people that um, have gotten into toxic relationships so anyway that's all I really have to say and uh, I hope you have a wonderful day